What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where last time we started finalizing our iron and product uh, iron and rod lines and started setting up the reinforced plates rotors and smart plating they're getting stored into these storage containers and then of course down here we have our space elevator where we completed project assembly I say completed project assembly but what I mean is I completed phase one that's what I meant not project assembly because it's still under construction but today I want to look into coal power and start maybe the basic steel production or we'll see if that will be in next episodes. I don't know where I'll be yet, but maybe I should get the enhanced asset security so I can get the Xeno Basher to help me with them pesty bloody critters that I keep fighting. So remember, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, subscribe and also leave a comment, even if it's just a bloody emoji. So without further ado, let's do this. Right. So, first thing we're going to want to do is look into... Actually, we should get the jump pads complete. So, let's get that done real quick. Send them off. Bosch. That is jump pads complete. Hi, Ada. Milestone reached. The Fixit jump pad combines high technology and innovation for optimized factory traversal and an ideal travel experience. Mm-hmm. Clarification. Ideal travel experience not guaranteed. Individual results may vary. Pioneers are responsible for all workplace accidents resulting from jump pad usage. I thought the bird was going to go land over there. And I was like, no, that's way too big. And the bird is way too small. Okay, so jump pad's done. So we now want to look into coal power, which we're going to need 150 reinforced iron plates, which I think we don't have. Which will give us coal power, water extractors, pipeline mark 1s, pipeline supports, pipeline junctions, pipeline pump mark 1s, fluid buffers, and we can re and then we can scan for coal. So let's select that milestone. Uh, we are just short of the reinforced plates, which if I'm not mistaken, we should have some in here. 30, just enough. We've got some smart plating and rotors. What I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to shut down the, um, the smart plating for now, uh, just so we can get more reinforced plates being sent in this direction. So we're storing five per minute instead of two and a half per minute. And then we can go back to the hub and then we should be able to put them. Oh, we can't actually put these in there yet until it completes. Uh, but we've got the rotors. We've got the, actually, we don't have the cable. We don't have enough cable as well. Let me go get some cable. Grab some of you. And then we have enough of that. And then once we've done coal power, I want to look at basic steel. Maybe I should actually get the uh, the Xeno Basher. That'd be kind of useful. But saying that, we don't have enough for the reinforced plates as of yet. But we could also start looking into tractors with truck stations. Blueprints. Logistics Mark 3, Advanced Steel Production, Expanded Power, and of course, Hyper Tubes. I actually need more of them in there. And you. And then we can now unlock coal. Hi, Ada. Milestone reached. Power production can now be fully automated by burning coal, which has been added to the resource scanner. Water is also pew, pew. necessary to run the coal power generator and will require a network of pipelines to be transported from a water source. Mm -hmm. To assist with locating and identifying water, Fixit has compiled this guide. Water is a somewhat reflective liquid and it may have thick vegetation growing nearby. <laughs> to test if something is water, try touching it. If it is not solid and does not corrode your suit, it is probably water. Okay, that was very sarcastic, Ada. I'm not going to lie to you. Right, so we can now look for coal, of course. So I'm more than likely going to either go to the Crater Lakes for coal power, or I might go and see the new coal that's been added to the Rocky Desert. We do have the coal down here. Yes, I understand that. And I could build a coal plant down here which is possible with it being so close because if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure these are four normal nodes one normal two normal three normal let me rescan four normal and five normal purity t how many coal nodes are down there hold up hold the phone wait a minute Whee! oh too fast too factory move faster than 140 kilometers okay well, I've just got that achievement. So you don't need to be in a vehicle to actually move. You can just fall. Achievement unlock. I thought you might need to be in a vehicle to unlock that. Let me just get rid of this. These be gone. So how many coal nodes are here now? Because they only used to be four. Or was it six before? Was I seeing something before? I'm pretty sure I saw five a minute ago. We've then... Was I hallucinating or was it a bug? One, two, three, four. Which has always been the case with normal, 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 normal. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I'd actually just use this coal. I'll just merge these two coal lines together, make a 120 line, merge these two to 120 line. 120 into uh, six, uh, six into, well, into the coal gens. And as we know, coal gens do 
15 per minute, so 120 divided by 15 will be 8 coal gens times by 75. That's 600 megawatts. That'll give me 1,200 megawatts in total. Unless the coal generators have changed. And I can't put one down because I need reinforced plates. Okay, so let me run up here. Quickly grab some more reinforced plates. Quickly put a coal generator down. Because it... it hello? Interesting. Most pioneers already had coal power set up by this point because they understood their responsibility to humanity. Adjusting pioneer attitude metrics. Reminder. Coal power generators require coal. Excuse me? What do you mean? You cheeky little... I liked you at one point, Ada. I'm not going to lie to you. And now you're just giving me the stick. It was about to happen, wasn't it? It, w it, was, inev it was inevitable. I'm just going to try something for the memes. Jesus! It's one of you boys. One of yous. What the hell? Oh, he's coming. Okay, hacks. Okay, that works. <laughs> right, so I'm going to quickly put down an awesome sink real quick. Uh, because I'm going to put a storage down. Because I do have some items I can quickly sell. Oh my god, I don't have enough plates. Plates, any plates? Because I quickly want to um, get the concrete foundations. Uh, because I keep going through plates like there's no tomorrow. Uh, they're over here, aren't they? Uh, let me grab you, you, and you, and you. So I can just quickly throw them... Any items I don't, what I well, like, these, the steel beams, the rotors, and get them all powered, shifted. Just want to get some coupons because I really want to get the um, the concrete foundations. I'm pretty sure the four coupons, I think. So let me, oh, I need screws, screws. There we go. Let's get the awesome shop down now. And then I should be able to look into customizer, concrete foundations, bam. Let's get them, purchase. Buy all. Beautiful. All fixed vetted materials are tested for toxins, hallucinogens, and other biologically adverse effects. Pioneers are advised not to immerse themselves in these materials and not to lick, eat, breathe in, or otherwise consume them. Why would I lick them? What do you take me for? Okay, right. So I've laid the foundation down for the coal, and I've also done a little bit of an underflooring, as you can tell right here. So this is where my pipes and more than likely the coal will come in because I am going to bring in the coal from the estuary here. So we have two normal there and two normal on that side. We've also got this copper, which we can introduce later on when we need it, which maybe I might turn that into copper sheets, potentially. We will see. We will see. So now that we've got this room, we're definitely going to need a lot more room than this. So I might have to extend this. So we are going to need 16 found, well, 16 coal gens. Yeah, 16 coal gens, which does mean I need an additional more reinforced plate, more rotors, and I actually need copy sheets, in fact. Let's actually extend this foundation along and then make room for the copy sheets. Right, so I put the foundation down and I've got the miner in. I've just played it on top of the foundation like this. Got the belt in, which, which, which it is a 60 per minute node, so which does mean we're going to need two smelters. So I want to grab you. I can actually move you forward a bit more. Uh, let's go with you to go there, and then I'm going to put another one here. We're then going to get two constructors because I need one to, let's say there. We're going to put it into that position, and two, three, four. We're then going to grab two splitters, like so. Put you there, put you there. Belts into these like that and then once i've done that we already know that this is going to be making copper sheets so that's 20 ingots per minute actually this needs to be more because this is going to be giving me 30 that's going to need 20 so technically what i should be doing is putting this into three constructors 
because I should be merging these together. So this is all wrong. I was thinking I needed to go for something else instead. I don't know why I was thinking that. So let's put the merger there, merge them two together. That's then going to give me a 60 line. That 60 then is going to go into a splitter here, like so. We're then going to get a constructor to face there. One there, and then one there like that. So 30, 30, merges together to make 60. 60 split three ways, which will be 20, which means belt that way, belt into you, belt into you, all making the copy sheets at 20 input per minute, which we'll need, which will make uh, 10 per each machine, which will give us a 30 outputs of copy sheets. And then I'm just going to grab myself a storage we're just going to place that here we're then just going to get a merger place that there place you there and i'm going to place you there for symmetry connect all these outputs up together so that's going to be 30 copy sheets per minute we're making and then that can go into the storage like that and then i need to get these connected up with power so i'm going to do my normal kind of like daisy chaining kind of system so I'll connect these up via here connect you up to there remove these walls connect them up we're going to do the same with these. These are a little bit further back. Uh, so I'm going to go with barrier there. Wall, take you across here. Attach you to the wall removal. Connect the power lines. And then I'm going to attach you to you. Then you can come along here. Let's go this way. And that should be all them connected, powered. Uh, I am going to need the iron ingots to go into here. We are then going to need a splitter to go there. Connect that belt up to the splitter. Input there, so 30 is going into that. 30 is going into that. Now we just need to bring power over here, get this connected. And in fact, I'm going to take you this way as well. Um, like so. Take that power node to the end, and I can just take that down here, I guess. Uh, there is a hard drive right here, which requires 120 megawatts, which we might as well grab whilst we're here. I just need to make sure I've got some. I don't have any food on me, so I'm gonna get attacked for sure. Oh god! Hi, friend. How did you survive that? All right, let's connect that up. Let's try and get to that one without dying. Sneak around here from the bloody bees. Get myself a hard drive. Beautiful. Damaged hard drive successfully acquired. All Thank you. All pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for analysis in the MAM, which may result in benefits to the Fixit mission. Speculation as to why there are crashed freighters in your fix-it designated zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. <laughs> I signed nothing, Ada. I don't remember signing anything. So, now that we have the power connected up here, I need to sort this out because this is not iron ore, as chat pointed out, because I'm being a spoon. That one's fine. They should be good. I now need to set up this with a Mark 1. That should split between them. Then that should be our copy sheets being done. So I might as well start getting this production going now because I'm going to need a lot of copy sheets because I'm going to need to set up pipes. I'm going to need to make the um, water extractors and whatnot. But I do need quite a bit of reinforced plates. So hopefully, since we turned off the smart plating, we actually accumulated quite a bit more. Right, how much reinforced? Oh, I definitely do not have enough. I need to make more than what I'm currently producing. Is either I go and explore and do what I need to do for now. But I've definitely got the rotors. We definitely got the copper sheets because they're being made. I do need to get some cables. But the reinforced plates is what is holding us back right now. So maybe I handcraft quite a bit of them. Or we sit around or go and look for Mercer Spheres and more hard drives. Saying that, I do have a hard drive. I can quickly hard drives scan. Hopefully, we can get some steel screws. So we're going to leave that running. Right, so I'm just going to handcraft some reinforced plates because it's taken a while for these to make. I was deciding if, to, like, if I should run around and stuff and just explore hard drives and all that kind of things. Um, but I'm just going to do this and get this power up a little quicker because I don't know how much power I've got left in my biomass burners before we actually have a power outage. So I'm just going to do this and then hopefully we can get our coal extractors. Well, coal plants down. Oh, the man research has just been complete. What hard drive are we getting? Hard drive scan complete. Bolted. We're not making enough screws right now for that. We could make the demand for it. We could bring in some more iron if we needed to. But right now, I don't think that's going to suit us. I am going to rescan. That's not any better for what we need right now. 
The only thing I really want to go with here is potentially cheap silica. Copper roses is not bad, but again, we don't have the screws and we don't have the copper sheets to demand what we need to do right now. I only ever choose what we need to for when we need it. But if I was to choose out of these two, I'll probably go with copper roses. Cheap silica is not bad, but I mean, no need for silica or quartz uh, plants yet for any crystal oscillators and stuff. I don't think I've got any of the hard drives. I do not. So let's remove that. But I am over at the I mean, uh, the coal plant. Which does mean we could look into now placing our uh, power generators. So right now, I do understand and I've been getting told all day by Twitch chat that there is a current bug with these. So we'll kind of see that for ourselves in a minute. Um, we obviously need to put down eight of these in a row. We do need to make sure we've got enough room. We need to bring the coal in as well. So we have one nod over there, one nod, well, two nods there, sorry, and two nods over there. Them two nods will come to this line of eight, and then two nods over there will come to this line of eight. Then we also need to bring in the pipes, which are going to go on the underflooring. So we're just going to make sure we've got enough room. So if we go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, that's just enough room. We're going to leave a two meter, well, a two foundation width and we're going to place one two here and we're just going to place you at this location like that and i'm going to go two three four five six seven eight that should give us 1200 megawatts in total because these require 15 coal per minute and 45 water per minute each and output 75 megawatts per each coal machine 75 times by eight is 600 plus another 600 is 1,200. Um, so we are gonna use uh, the underflooring. So I am gonna remove this whole section just so I've got more access to work with. And then what I'm gonna do also is I'm just going to, actually, I'm just gonna quickly put this floor back because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the conveyor holes down so they are ready to go. And then I can work with them underneath. Darn it, I need more plates. All right, let's grab some plates. Use my little slingshot I've made just to land in the water. And then climb my ladders to my coal plant. And then I can finish off placing the conveyor holes. And then once I've done that, I can then remove these foundations for the sole purpose, just for me to bring these down here like this. And then I can grab my splitter and then place that there. And I can remove this one because now I know where I need to place them because I can just build it along here. Because this is where my coal will be coming along the manifold like so. And then I can just literally just grab my lifts and start connecting all of these up. And then I'm going to need a Mark II belt, which if I've got enough of, I should be able to make them all actually. Connect all these up and that's that manifold done. I need to duplicate that on the other side, but I also need to bring in the coal from over in that area. So I'm going to remove this leg like so. And then I'm going to take this foundation and zoop it all the way across there, which should kind of give us a little bit of a bridge. That should take us straight through here to go and grab this coal. But what I'm going to do also is I'm going to get some concrete pillars. And I'm just going to take that through here just to give it a bit of structural support i guess like so one two three four foundations then we can just go over here and go and place our miners down which i do think we need our mining drills so we're just going to take this further along this way and then i need to take care of the local wildlife i'm pretty sure there's one more Oh no, he's dead, he's over here. And then from here, I can just switch to bigger foundations, make them vertical, go from this bottom one, zoop these out, go over the coal nodes, make sure I've got a ladder so I can get back up, fill in this area, and then I should be able to, or I will need to, make some portable miners. So I'm gonna need uh, two in total, and then uh, miner, so I can't access them. And if you need to access them, sometimes you can just grab them like that, but like this one over here, it's a little too far underneath. So just remove the foundation and then you can place it on top like that. As long as you can look at it, it'll then snap. And then all we need to do is merge these two like this. And, uh, that's going to be a little bit too far. But if we go up here and we put down a conveyor pole and we build our belt actually that way, that one needs to be upgraded. So I'm going to put that to a two. And if I was to go from a lift from here, that'd be there. Because if I go from the bottom, it pushes out a bit further, you see? which means your belt's gonna clip. And I can do that from there. Just like that. Cool. And let's get a Mark 1 belt to that. That means they're all connected. Let's get these powered like so. We're gonna grab you to connect to you and then we're gonna take you up. Did I put a, uh, I did. I did. So now, connect that power line up to there. Bring this across here, like so. And then I just need to take this belt 
over to the coal. And obviously connect the power up. Okay, so once again, I actually ran out of reinforced plates because right now I'm going through so many of them because I need Mark II belts. And again, I'm going to use my little slingshot I've got here just so I can get down here and make sure I land in the water. Because with me building them belts over there, it's consuming so many. And I don't even think I'm going to have enough to build it back this way. So I might have to handcraft some more. If not, I'm going to have to up my production rate a bit more or go and explore a little bit because I don't really want to be forgetting about the exploration side of things because we need it. Otherwise, when it comes down to placing the, the depots for my storage, I'm not going to have any mercy spheres and I need them. Plus, I need summer sloops for the augmenters as well when we get to them, which they unlock at tier five. So let's place more belts along here. Come on, be nice to me. Just, just get to this first coal line. That's all I'm asking. There we go. Boom. Nice. Right, that should be the coal done. Now I just need to connect it up to the power, which I can really just connect it up to the uh, copper sheets one here. So I'm just going to bring that to there. And then I'm going to build a ladder, grab the connector for that, and then place that right there. And I can just connect you up to that. And with that said, we should now have coal. So that should be 60 per minute, 60 per minute, merging together, make a 120 line. 120 going into eight coal gens. We now need to just get the water set up. But first, I'm just going to put the foundation back there and then get these lifts connected into the generators, like so. And then in regards to water extractors, I want to aim for three. So I want to try and keep this as clean as possible. So we're going to use this central uh, foundation here with one pipe, two pipe, three pipe. I'm going to try and aim for that. We are going to grab the pipes from here. We don't need the floor holes because we can just clip it straight through the foundation. But we are just going to grab... Oh, I need copper sheets. Well, at least we've got some being made. So let's grab some of these. Actually, looking back at this now, now that I'm back at the pipes, I've put these here. These should actually be there. So I'm just looking at the spacing and everything here. Because what I want to do is I want the pipe to come down here. I want it to come into, say, about there. Nope, because that's it needs to come one further forward. So it's going to come about there. I'm going to bring these pipes along here. Oh, Ed is going to speak to me. Of course. And then once I've got all of these down here. Actually, is that too far? I feel like that could be a little too far out. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It is the right. We're going to do that. One, two, three. You there. We're just going to do this all the way along. For all of these. This pipe can just come along here. We need to skip these. Oh, no. You're on an angle. Nope. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, I've done it all wrong here. Bring you along there. And we want this pipe to go into six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to go all the way into these. And then here, we're going to connect these up as best to my ability. And I'm going to remove these again, because then I can then connect them up there like that. And then this pipe is going to come along here. It's going to make its way towards this one and this one. So let me just kind of get this in here. And then we need to put a pipeline junction here. One here. Connect this pipe to there. To there. To there. And then also one, two, one, two. So you need to be connected. Then you need to be connected. Connect them together. Oh, you're too far forward. You need to go to there. There, that's better. You're fine. You're connected. You need to bring this one. And it's just after that line. Like so. So that's one, two, three, four connected. So that goes onto the middle line. And then this is going to come onto these six here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just going to bring this along here. Actually, let's bring this down here first. Because that's going to go to there. So you're going to come down here, connect into that. You're bent again. So you need. Wait, is that right? Are them coal machines. These coal machines are too far forward. Them coal machines are too far forward. Because these are. Oh, yeah, they are. No wonder things are looking a bit scuffed. Right, so I've managed to align all these coal machines back together. I've got them all powered up. Well, not powered, but I've got all the connectors connected. I've got the pipes all done and down there, as you can see, kind of like down here. All the pipes are connected. I've even put like the lifts on each one. We shouldn't be really doing this, but it's for coal. It's not a permanent power setup throughout the entire game. It's going to be here because at the end of the day, more than likely highway is going to be coming over this at some point. So 
I don't know if this will eventually stay. It's just going to give me that bit of power just to push towards oil, I guess. But the one thing I do need is because I've done these water extractors, one per each pipe, I need 300 to be in this pipe, 300 to be in that one, and 300 to be in that one. Technically, this one doesn't need 300 because it needs 45, 90, 180 to fill the last four generators. So I've got one power, one generator pushing towards six machines, which if you do uh, 45 times six, is just short of 300. Same for that side. Um, but one thing I do need to do is unlock power shards. So we need to unlock them in the MAM. So I've got to open the MAM and then we head over to power slugs. I just need a blue slug, which I don't have on me right now. I have a yellow one. I'm pretty sure I've got one in the hub. Right, let's quickly check my storage in here. Yes, I've got a blue blue slug. I've got any other slugs. I've got three yellows. Perfect. Go into the MAM. I was going to put another one down. Let's quickly get that unlocked, which should now allow me to scan them. And then I want overclocking. So I need one power shard. This semi slug, now dubbed power slug, is early mm -hmm. in its life cycle and has retained only part of its potential energy storage capacity, giving it its blue color. Power slugs are capable of extracting latent energy from their surroundings, including through a form of photosynthesis, and preserve it in their porous semi crystalline shell over their lifetime. This explains why they rarely move after having found a suitable location. <laughs> there we go. Now we know why slugs don't move when they're, when they're currently sat there. All right, let's get overclocking unlocked. And then I'm going to do the yellow one. We're going to research that so we can start turning yellow ones into power shards. development completed. Power shards can now be inserted into all buildings to increase input and output speed. Underclocking is also possible. Note. Power consumption of overclocked buildings increases exponentially. I just need to get a couple more screws real quick. Research completed. Yellow power slugs are further into their life cycle than blue power slugs and thus have more potential energy stored. They can now be processed into power shards. Nice. Thank you. Uh, let's get a power slug and then we're going to turn that one into that. So let's confirm that. Nice. We don't have any purple ones. Power slugs extract latent energy from their surroundings to sustain themselves. By tuning the object scanner to the particular potential energy signature, it is now able to locate them against the background environmental static. Thanks. That means we can scan them. We can search from that way. Which you can't really miss them anyway, because honestly, there is so many in the Spire Coast. Like, you could literally go into the Spire Coast and it's like slug heaven. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that this has got three in it. So we need to get 300 water per minute. This one needs to... Uh, 45, 90. This needs to do 180. So we can just put two in there. Actually, we can just bring that down. Actually, just max it out. And then this one, we are going to make sure there's three in there. So we've just got enough to do them all. And we've got 300 in there. Cool. Perfect. And that should allow us to do that. But we are going to need 20 megawatts, 20 megawatts. This is not which 20 megawatts, actually. Oh, it is. Actually, no, when we turn it on, it's going to need more power because of the power shards. So let's head up to these biomass burners. I should have really collected some biomass whilst I was over there just so I can get these up and running. Because all I really need to do right now is I need that water to push through there to get to at least a couple of these machines to power up and then the cycle continues. And then I can just um, leave it going. So I'm just going to separate some of this leaves. Easy. Throw you in there. Throw you in there. Throw you in there. I didn't think that was going to be enough. Let's just throw you down and you down. Just throw you in there and throw you in there. I just want to jump start this place. Come on, baby. Damn. Come on, I just need that water to hit one of them coal gens. Come on, baby. I need more power. I need more. Give me power. Give me power. Let me put you in there. I am literally spreading my leaves out thin. Come on, baby. Come on, just just get. I took everything out of there. Come on. Come on. Go. I, why am I powering them to? I need to power this one. Come on, Cole. Just, just get. The water's coming. The water's coming. Come on, baby. Yes. Yes! Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't attach these to the power grid. Wait. Wait. Hold. <laughs> yes, baby! 
Oh, what? Wait, I, I'm clicking the open the. I bet you I've caused. I'm, I'm, I bet you I'm creating myself the bug. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've just made myself the bug. Give, give, give me a minute. Let me just fix that. Let me fix that. Do not touch it, bits. The call bug is a UI bug that stops the call from being inputted into your call machines. Okay. So how you combat this? Remove the belts or the lift that goes into the machine. Make sure you've got coal in your inventory. Just as a backup, this is another solution. And then reattach your belts. If you enter that UI again, sometimes it can block the input, which means you do not um, have to do that. Right? right, so I've left this running for a while while chat bully me. And um, I basically just left it running. And we've kind of now got coal power these two are still kind of pushing through on the manifold but we should be sitting cushy at a 1200 megawatts that's including that's not including sorry the uh um uh, the biomass burners so we can see we're at 1125 and we're currently still missing you know two over that side well one over there and two uh, but we should be good but now i need to start looking for steel and i'm debating on where do i want to do steel because i could go to the rocky desert use the iron uh, from the little crater and then also the new coal that's been added so we might go and science that and see what's going on over there and maybe look at just making a few little bits of steel uh before pushing on to whatever is gonna be next uh right i was gonna do an outro for this video and then realized because i'm a big ass flipping spoon what i've done is i was recording and well no i was i did the intro to this video after yesterday's live stream so the coal plant is down and the progress i've done on the steel plant has also gone because i when i ended the stream last night i did not save a new save so when i've come in to do the intro for this video i've gone over the auto save with all my progression with what i did in yesterday's marathon stream so now i need to boot all this coal machine back up i need to now go over the steel but this is now your outro to this episode so thank you so much for watching keep smiling make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment because this is now a pain in my butt and now i need to play catch up so because <laughs> i'm a spoon <laughs>